everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from my Simply series range of books. Today I'm going to be taking you through Last Night in Paris from my Simply Romantic book. If you want to know where I got the book from there's going to be a link coming up above my head now or there'll be a direct link in the description bar underneath this video. So if you want to know how to play Last Night in Paris from Simply Romantic then please keep watching. So as usual the first thing I'm going to do is play it all the way through and then I'll take you through any parts of the music. Okay, so the first thing I want to go through is bar four and then bar five. The key signature says that you've got an F sharp and a C sharp. So this, all the C's technically should be in their stretched position, which means they should be tucked in right behind the third finger. However, on bar four, you've got a couple of C naturals, which means they're going to be tucked in right behind the first finger. So just have them back next to the first finger. And then in bar five, it says a C sharp again as normal, so you're going to be stretching that C. So if I take you through bar four, it will be there, so they're back twos. Now stretch. And then you can just carry on as normal. Watch the fourth finger for the B in bar seven, just make sure that's stretched enough. So that B is going to be a good finger width away. So if you think the third finger is going to be on that dot, that B is normally a good finger width apart. So basically if I can put my, put my third finger down, put my other finger next to it, and then put my fourth finger, take it away, and that's how much of a gap I need for that B. So just be aware that that is in tune, otherwise it'll sound... Nobody wants that, so just make sure it is wide enough. It would be a good idea to just look at the violin at that point just so you're not kind of you're not looking at the music and then put guessing where you've got to put your finger down so the only other part is probably the the last sort of few few bars at the end where you've got those quavers or those eighth notes just practice those It's just nice slow practice but basically they're either all arpeggios or mostly scales so it's it should be fairly self-explanatory you've got some more up the top there in bar nine and ten but again just nice slow practice this should be taken at quite a steady speed but i mean you can sort of play it a little bit slower you can play it a little bit faster however you sort of feel the mood so it suits you for last night in paris so there we go, I think that's everything I need to mention for Last Night in Paris. Don't forget to check in the description bar directly underneath this video because I'll have linked all the other book series and all the videos that goes with those and I've got Simply Country, um, Simply Jigs and Reels, Simply Gypsies, Simply Jazz Blues and Rags, so they'll all be linked underneath there. And um, Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.